Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Tanisha with She Crafts 2 and today I am here to, I came on to show you guys how I go about making my sequin mix wands. I really love making these as a fun way to share sequin mix with my crafty friends. Um, they're just a lot of fun and a different way to be able to show off the actual mix that you've created as well as be able to give your friend a you know a really cute um, piece and I like the fact too that you can use still use the rosette so after your crafty friend takes the sequin mix and you know takes the sequin mix out and use it they still have the beautiful rosette to be able to use on another project so it's literally like you know two in one um a two in one item so what i wanted to show you guys is this is typically how i start out with um with a wand and then i just add to it based on what colors i want to add based on what kind of texture i want to add um, and based on how the, the size that I want the wand to be. So we start out with something like this, which has a rosette. You also have a um, scallop edge circle. I have a bow here and then I have the puffy stickers and the collection that I worked with um, is, well, the one that I'm working with now is the Sweet Story Collection by Maggie Holmes. And as you can see this one, up close you get the the little um, B um, puffy sticker then you have a small bow and you have a larger bow we also we have our rosette and then we have our scalloped um, edge circle here and then with some trim going around that so this is essentially what you have and then we have a bigger bow here with some trim added on here and then this is our shaker mix okay so this is what we're going to be creating today um, what you're going to need is I have my fuels tool off to the side that has heated up and actually you guys won't see me use it today because I've already created the, um, the tube that I need or the tubular shape that I need. Um, and I use the page protectors in order to create it. And this is a eight by 11 page protector, but it's kind of, it's the long way instead of the, um, the traditional, um, 11 being the. Um, height of it. So um, this is what I normally use. It's much easier for me. I get the height that I want for my um, for the tube and it's real simple. Um, what we will also use is um, let's see really just our ribbon and whatever gemstones or whatever you want to use to decorate your bow um, and then some trim and your sequin mix. So this is the sequin mix that I have. Um, um, this is what I have left over after doing this one. So this is what I have left and this one's what I'm going to use to fill my tube for the one that we're going to do right now. Um, if I end up needing some more, I do have this one that I've been using as well. Um, and this is what I've been working with uh, when I create my projects that I've done up to this point. But this sequin mix I made specifically to make these. So this one has a little bit more. The other one was focused more on pinks. And this one has some of the shades of purple from her collection. Um, and we also have some more of like the mint green. And we also have some of the peachy um, colors. So those colors were not as much. They weren't as heavy in the other uh, sequin mix. So... Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started, okay guys? So we're gonna scoop this over and make some room for us. I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna push our sequin mix back. So we're gonna start with this one. And I have a another circle, uh, scallop circle. And we're just gonna add that to that. Go ahead and add it, let me fix it, straighten it up get it centered better okay and this is the trim that I'm going to use to go around the edge you can use tool um, you can use any trims that you want to so if you want to do the ruffled effect with um, some other trim then that would be fun to use if you want to use a different type of circular um, paper then you could use that um, like maybe a bigger one and we still have a little bit there we can work with and I kind of flip it over periodically to make sure that you know it's forming 
the circle that I want to before the glue hardens. Okay. Just goof it over, make sure we're good. Okay. Add a little bit more. And this is a lot of fun. Um, I originally came up with this idea because, um, like I say, I wanted to share some sequin mix with uh, a crafty friend um, in our swap. And I didn't have any of the fun to uh, tubes and um, really didn't have any of the dyes that I, I see the ladies using to make you know, boxes and that kind of thing. And so I was like, you know, trying to figure out what I could use that I actually already had in my collection. Um, and I came up with this way and I really like it. I like it a lot. I enjoy making things that, you know, once my crafty friend receives it, like, you know, there's other things that can be done with it. So I really enjoy um, making these. So this is what we are looking like on the back side. This is what we're looking like on the front side. And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put a circle. And this is a two by, I mean, two and one four size circle that I've punched out. And I'm just going to use this to make sure that, you know, we're securing that we're adding. So this is how I do it in order to be able to um, have a flat surface. So if you wanna add another layer, so if we wanted to add some tool to this, we could go ahead and add some tool and we have a flat surface to work with to add the tool. And let's see, let me see how the tool would look. So I normally have like a piece that maybe is about this wide and I'll double it over just so that we can see it better and just kind of go around and add some ruffles to it. And let's flip it over and see what we, you can't really, I mean, of course, I would make it look a lot neater than that. But I think for this one, we're just going to stick with um, doing that today. And that is pretty much what we're going to do. Um, and if I decide that I'm going to add some more to it, then I will. But we're going to set this to the side for now. Let's move some of this glue off of here. I'm going to set that to the side for right now. And we're going to go ahead and work with our um with adding our sequin mix so for uh, like i told you guys i've already created the line for the tube shape and i want to go ahead and cut this and i went on ahead and did this off camera guys because sometimes me and my fuse my fuse tool it it, it decides that it's not going to be my friend and we don't get along well today it actually today was a good day for us but some days, <laughs> I said, I'm not going to let you embarrass me on this camera. So I went on ahead and I did it off the camera. But this is where you will use your fuse tool um, to seal your um, seal the shape of your, um, your tube for your wand, the length of your wand. And if you guys don't have a fuse tool, you can, of course, do some stitching. I don't have a sewing machine, guys. Everything that I stitch, I stitch by hand. So... Anytime that I'm stitching, it's literally, it's a, um, it's a, a, a labor of love. So, um, I definitely would have to have it stitched and prepped <laughs> ahead of time before I came on the camera with you guys. But, um, if you don't have a fuse tool, then you can absolutely stitch it. If you don't have, uh, the page protectors or you don't have a sewing machine and don't want to stitch or even if you do and you just decide that you don't want to do stitching, you can use vellum and you can stitch the vellum or you can glue the vellum however you normally, um, whatever adhesive you normally use for your vellum, you can use vellum. Um, I even thought about uh, you could kind of create something that looks similar to a um, coin envelope and just... Um, put your wand on the top part of it, you know, like you could create a narrow coin envelope and um, go ahead and do it that way as well. That might be a lot of fun as well. So I sealed this all the way up and I'm going to open it up some because these jokers, when you seal it all the way to the top, they are, it's a mess trying to get 
the sequin mix inside of trying to get the sequin mix inside of it so this is where we're going to add our sequin mix let me get back in frame for you guys it's super close so i'm kind of trying to make sure that i'm in frame for you guys so i'm looking through the camera as well as looking at what i'm doing come on don't fail me now <laughs> um there we go okay and what's fun about this guys is that if you have a lot of sequin mix that you want to share you can you know add a lot or you can do a very little you know you can do small ones you can do miniature shakers so they don't have to be not shakers i don't know why i always want to call these shakers it's because i'm working with this sequin mix i know but nothing is shaking about this this joker is going to be stuffed so there definitely won't be anything shaking um and if i need to then i'll just dip into my uh my other sequin mix and i'm probably going to end up dipping but you guys can see Look at that. Super pretty. And let's go ahead. I'm going to add some for my other. Let's add some. Add some more in there. Mix that up a little bit. I wonder if I can. Let's see, guys. Let's see if I can. This going to be. It's going to turn into a disaster. I already know. You guys are going to watch this. Just cover your eyes. Because <laughs> it's about to get real messy on this camera. Let's see. Sometimes it cooperates and other times it turns into a nightmare before my very eyes. Everything is cooperating with me today, guys. I swear if I had if I had done this, yeah, we definitely gonna have to add some more. Um, and then this is also a little bit longer than what I would normally do because we're probably just going to fill it up to about right here so that we have some space up here. But I want to add some more to it because, see, the profile is still pretty flat, so it would be a lot of fun inside of your um, loaded pockets. And you still get the flat profile so it won't take away from it. The first one I did, guys, that joker was so chunky. It was super chunky. Um... But I haven't decided yet. I knew that the one that I did for Ariel, that it was going to be on its own, that I wasn't trying to load it into anything. So I was okay with it being chunky, but I don't know for sure what's going to happen with this one. So I don't want to add too much. I don't want to make it too chunky just in case I actually have to fit it inside of something. But see the profile of it? You get a little bit of chunk, but it's so pretty. Look at that. And you get to see the sequin mix, you know, while it's in there. It almost kind of has some unicorn vibes to it, too. Um, but I like it. Guys, I've been really enjoying working with this Sweet Story collection. It is so much fun. We're not going to look. I'm going to get all the crumbs. <laughs> all the crumbs. All the sequin crumbs. We're going to put get all of it in here. Not going to leave anything. No sequins left behind. Um, so this is where we're at with it. This is still a pretty good amount of sequin mix, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and seal this off so we don't have these jokers rolling around. And guys, I have never been able, let me see, push it down a little bit. I have never been able to work with the sequin, not sequin, the fuels ruler, the fuels tool ruler that they sent us that's supposed to help us stay straight and in line. Me and that joker, look, look at this. I think I got a little too heavy handed. I laid on it a little too long, y'all. So let's go a little bit under it. Probably because I was too close to those sequins. Oh, see, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. We were getting along. But this is not the tool today. This is user error happening right here. Okay, so we're gonna end up we're gonna end up with a chunky profile after all. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Um 
but I need to keep those pushed back because the reason why it's not sealing, it keeps bumping back up is because the sequin mixer, the sequins are too close. Too close to the line. Luckily, that's all going to be hidden. So, it's not too bad. So, as you can see now, it kind of chunked it up a little bit. But it is still okay. This is still about the same. It's about the same still as this one. So, it's okay. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and snip that off. So we have our flat profile. Let me just make sure that I've sealed this good because the last thing that I want is for my crafty friend to get a nice little sequin surprise and have these exploding on them. Oh, but that was the other thing that I was telling you guys too. Like you can use paper as well. The only difference is that you won't really, you won't, of course, you won't be able to see the sequin mix like you can here, but you can absolutely use paper and uh, make it into a tubular shape and, you know, not, not you can stitch around the edges or you can use your adhesive to seal it off and that would still be fun. It would still be equally cute, equally as cute and you can still create your wand and everything. They just won't be able to see them in there and I think one of the joys of this is being able to see this, actually be able to see the sequin mix. So that's what that is. And now we're going to go ahead and um, add this to the back of this. Let me make sure I'm on the bottom because the last one I did, I ended up having to pull it apart because uh, Tanisha isms. <laughs> Didn't make sure that it was... Um, that it was in the proper position. So let's make sure. And I try to keep my, let me scoot up some. I try to keep my hot glue as far away from my sequin mix as possible because I want for my swap partner or for my crafty friend to be able to, um, I want for them to be able to use all of the sequin mix. So I don't want it to be where some of the sequin mix gets melted, you know, under there. And look, of course, still did the same thing. Maybe I should hold it this way and stick it on there. Okay, so let's glue it again. Try this one more time and we're gonna flip it over and I'm gonna look at it while I do it. I'm always, I try and keep it um, on do it on the other side so that I can actually see and make sure that the sequin mix is not being compromised It looks like we did okay this time so um, Just add this up here so that we can flatten this to this and I am going to sandwich this in um, and again, you can still at this point, guys, you could still go ahead and add some extra layers to it if you wanted to, you know, so you can really layer this, this joker up if you wanted to make a longer one. Like if the sequin mix, if you were sure that you wanted to use all of your sequin mix that you had in your cup and you wanted to keep your um, tube really long, um, in order to balance it out, you could still add some more layers to this. You just add this back part to it and you can still add more layers, you know? So I think I'm still going to add a layer just to add some security to the back of it. And I have some fun colors behind there. Let me see if I could find some colors that look more like the actual, let's see. Looks like I didn't really capture any pinks. So I got glue on here. Uh, I didn't really capture any pink, so I guess it really don't matter because you're not going to see it anyway, but we'll just add a little bit to it um, just so that it has a little bit more security to it back there. Okay. And yeah, and look at that. It's so much fun. I love being able to see the sequin mix. It just adds some extra fun to it. Yep. 
and it looks like a lot of the chunky, a lot of the chunky sequins move to the back. Let's see if I can shift them and get some to the front. See if we can get some to the front. Uh, guess not. <laughs> but it's okay. I mean, it's still either way on both sides is cute. Okay, so we're not done. This is where we're at right now. But we're going to go ahead and add our um, trims. I'm going to add our trims. So we have this, actually, no, that one I'm going to use to make our bow. We have this, um, I'm about to say Martha Stewart. Actually, I was about to say Martha Holmes. Um, I don't know where Martha Stewart, where she came in at. She wanted some time. Um, but Maggie Holmes, we're going to use this Maggie Holmes trim. We have some gold sparkle here. And then we have some pom-pom trim here. And I am going to... I like to tie all these trims together, guys, because I don't want to have to do one trim at a time. It's too much. We're going to tie them all together and do one glue down at a time. So what I have here, guys, and I'm taking my the clamps off, but this is it was straight ribbon that I wanted to add some extra texture to my um, to my ribbon tassel. So I wrapped the... I wrap the ribbon around the wooden dowel and I bake it and it gives us these curls and we have the same curls here with the yellow here but it gives us just some added texture some fun texture and this is it adds some extra chunkiness if you like chunky then this is gonna be fun for you because it adds some extra chunk to your um, to your ribbon tassels um, but basically, I if you guys want to try it and you're not familiar with what to do with it, the way that I do it is I wrap the um, ribbon around the wooden dowel and um, secure it with the clothespins and I um, sit it inside of a baking pan and I bake it on either 200 or 250. It really depends on the texture the thickness of the ribbon as to how high I'll go. But even, I mean, it really doesn't matter. You can put it at 250 and it's going to be okay because you're only going to bake it for about 15 minutes. And you're going to take it out and let it cool off. Before you unravel it, make sure you let it cool off. If you unravel it while it's hot, it's going to flop on you, okay? So you want to make sure that you let give it, give it a chance to cool off so that it can set in the shape that it's going to be. Um... And that's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun to to do with your uh, tassels if you want to add some more fun to them. So that's me cutting that off. And oh man, I hope you guys, I hope I was in frame and that you guys saw that. I really didn't do anything but tie the string around them to secure them. So we're going to go ahead and add that under there. So add some glue to it. Um, and I don't add a lot. I really try and get on that piece of paper under there. I try and get more of it on the piece of paper than I do on the actual plastic so that it doesn't melt it or cause a hole or some a hole. Um, or cause the sequins to perforate the, the plastic and compromise the integrity of it. So, um, that's where we are with that. And now we're going to make our bow. We're going to make us, no, not using that ribbon to make a bow. We're going to use this ribbon. It's a thicker, thicker width. So let's see, we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Make that loop a little bit bigger. And we're going to pinch, push it up, pinch again, just kind of accordion fold it a little bit in our hands. And... Let's find some ribbon, not ribbon, but some embroidery floss. I hope that's a whole piece. Let's see. It's not, but it should be enough for us to do what we need to do. Okay. Let's scoot that over some so I have some space to work with so you guys can see what I'm doing. All I'm doing is tying the knot here to secure it. I'm double tying it and that's just a quick way to make a quick quick bow see quick 
quick bow and it's a lot of fun real quick way to do it it's a lot of fun if it's not even you can pull on either side it's not you know set in stone so you can kind of pull it on either end you can pull at the tails or you could pull at the bow at the loop in order to make it even you know so and you guys know me i'm gonna seal this in i'm not gonna do it on camera like i did last time and hurt your eyes I don't even know if it bothered you guys. I did try to um, cover it up. Nobody complained about it, but it just bothered me. I'm like, I didn't want to do that to you guys and have that flame jumping up, especially unexpectedly, you know? Okay, so we're going to put our bow there. Let's put it on here. Let's see. Wait, let's see. Which side do I want to do? Uh, I think I want to do the side that's cupped. So it looks like it's cupping it instead of protruding. Get that off of there. And we're going to stick you down right here. Yes, darling. Okay. Let's see. You like being there? I like you there. Okay, well, maybe you don't like being there. Let's see. <laughs> Tell me as soon as I say something. Don't start embarrassing me, okay? Stay in place. Do you guys talk to your projects? You guys talk to them? Let's scoot that over. Or am I the only weirdo that talks to the projects and the materials that I'm working with? I guess it's okay if I'm talking to them. The issue is going to be if I start hearing them respond back. That's where going to become a problem and I kind of want to make I want to make these a little bit shorter so I'm just kind of snipping them you know I'm you losing some good trim here but um, I want to shorten them some okay and then we're going to put us a, a little flat back gem here let's see what do we want to do that's not too bad maybe let's see nah don't like that one let's see that's not too bad and let's see you i like it but i think it might be too much yeah that's too much a bit too much for me uh i think we'll go with that one let's see that's kind of adorable too. Yeah, maybe I'll go with that one. That's my last one of that one, so that's why I pulled out the other pieces to try and see if I could, if I liked any of those. I'm kind of trying to hoard that last one. That was from that Maggie Holmes, um, like the metal pieces. I think this little bird came in that box too with that, but and she had some other things, some buttons and some um, paper clips, some cute shaped paper clips or something, I think. But anyway, so guys, this is the finished wand. And we have quite a few colors happening here. I feel like we kind of captured a good portion of all of the colors of the collection. Um, the hot air balloons are my favorite from this collection. So I really liked um, those puffy stickers, but... This is the finished result, guys. Make sure you let me know if you like it. I hope you guys enjoy it and that you make some yourself. If you do make them, then I would like to know. I want to see them and take a peek at them and ooh and ah with you guys over them, over what you create. Um, until next time, guys, I will see you and enjoy yourself.